Okay, so here is our experimental setup. Over here on the right we have our reaction chamber, which is currently inside this water bath. The water bath is set at 35 degrees centigrade. As the reaction proceeds, the gas is going to be evolved through this tube, right up to this, through this stopcock here, which can be turned so that the gas comes down into this gas burette. In here we have some coloured liquid and the gas will be evolved, it will push this liquid down the tube and we can uh, therefore see the volume which is being evolved. We need to be a little bit careful because the liquid on, in the left hand arm will actually raise up and therefore there will be a pressure applied to this volume of gas and that will give you an incorrect reading of the gas volume. So in order to be able to release that pressure and get back to atmospheric pressure, we have this extra reservoir of liquid here. This reservoir can be lifted up or down so that the level is maintained at the same level as where we're making our reading. And in that case, the, the, all the, the levels will be equal. We'll have atmospheric pressure inside the volume and we'll get a correct reading of the gas being evolved. So now here is our reaction vessel. We have two uh, chambers to the reaction vessel. Into the first chamber we're going to put our hydrogen peroxide solution. We're going to put in two centimeters cubed of this um, hydrogen peroxide solution. We're going to pipette it in. We're going to make sure we get every last drop into the uh, reaction chamber. Once that has been done, we can continue to put the into the other side our catalyst. In this case, this is going to be the potassium iodide solution. Again, two centimeters cubed of the potassium iodide solution. We're going to make sure we get every last drop of that into the reaction vessel, being careful to, to keep the components, the catalyst and the reactant, apart at this point in order to prevent the reaction from starting because things at the moment are not at the correct temperature to do the reaction. So now we're going to connect this reaction vessel to the gas burette. We're going to clamp this on very carefully and tightly because we don't want any gas to be lost from the chamber. And now we're going to take this and put it into the water bath, which you remember is at 35 degrees centigrade. And we're going to just uh, adjust the levels with the reservoir so that we've got uh, zero on the volume. We're going to now wait some time until the reactant and the catalyst are all at the uh, temperature of 35 degrees centigrade mix them together, immediately start the clock. You can see some iodine being formed as the colour changes, you get a bit of ox oxidation to, to iodine and the reaction has started and immediately you can see some gas being evolved. So this is going to come down, it started at zero, it's now going down, we're down to 0 0.2 centimetres cubed have been evolved and the reaction is going to proceed as the comes down in the right hand arm of the uh, gas burette you can see it going up in the left hand arm of the burette so we're now down to about 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.7 centimeters cubed it continues to come down we're at 0 0.8 0 0.9 one centimeter cubed has now been evolved uh, we look, can continue to look at the clock over here which is ticking and after about a minute we're going to take our first reading. But uh, before we do our first reading we need to make sure that we don't have uh, an overpressure so we're going to lower the reservoir over here that will lower the left hand arm until they get to equal level and then what you need to do is when they get to an equal level take a reading quickly both of the gas evolved and of the clock. You can rewind the video if you miss the point where these were equal in level. So that's your first reading that you've just made. This is now going to continue 
I'm going to leave you to take another four readings um, over the next uh, five minutes or so. Make sure that when you take the reading that the levels are equal before you take the reading and get a, a reading on the clock at the time and uh, a measure of the amount of gas evolved. When you've done that, uh, I will rejoin you and we can discuss how to treat the data. Make sure it's just pushed down into the water as it can possibly be. And it, it, it doesn't need to be that vigorous on the shaking. See, this, this is just not going to work at all for filming, is it? four points. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. Can we get them readings off this? Oh. 